Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The US Marine Corps sought a modern replacement for their aging LAV-25 series of armored vehicles, aiming for a versatile 8x8 amphibious armored personnel carrier. With over 700 LAVs in operation, the Marine Corps desired a medium-weight vehicle capable of launching from amphibious assault ships and conducting operations in the open sea, while also providing support alongside M1A1 Abrams tanks on land. The vehicle needed to be domestically produced, prompting collaboration between international and US-based companies. Initially dubbed the Marine Personnel Carrier, MPC, plans called for the acquisition of 579 new vehicles. Four contenders emerged for the program. Patria slash Lockheed Martin Havoc, Iveco slash BAE Systems Super AV, ST Kinetic slash Sayakteryx 2, and a General Dynamics variant based on the LAV-3 design with added amphibious capabilities. Development contracts were awarded to these contenders in 2012, but limited funding led to the program's cancellation the following year. In 2014, the Marine Personnel Carrier Program merged with the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV, program to address congressional concerns about funding redundancy. Ultimately, the Patria slash Lockheed Martin Havoc and General Dynamics vehicle were shortlisted, with the modified Iveco Super AV and ST Kinetics slash Sayakteryx 2 remaining contenders. In 2018, the modified Iveco Super AV was selected, leading to a contract with BAE Systems for the delivery of the initial 30 production vehicles. These ACVs, entering service in 2020, are manufactured in the United States and represent a significant upgrade from the aging lab series. The ACV underwent substantial modifications to meet USMC requirements, featuring a boat-like hull for enhanced buoyancy and amphibious speed. Its armor hull, designed to withstand small arms fire and blasts, provides improved protection over the LAV-25. With a crew of three and the capacity to carry 13 Marines, the ACV boasts enhanced interior features including spall liner, NBC protection, and blast-resistant seating. Armament options for the ACV include remotely controlled weapon stations with heavy machine guns and two-man turrets with 30mm cannons. However, due to weight limitations, heavier turret options may pose challenges. While the ACV may sacrifice some offensive capabilities compared to the LAV-25, its primary role remains the transport of marines and supplies from ship to shore and inland. Nonetheless, the ACV's combination of protection, speed, and mobility allows for versatile mission capabilities. Marines can enter and exit the ACV via a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors, while roof hatches provide additional access points. Powered by an Iveco Cursor 16 turbocharged diesel engine delivering 700 horsepower, the ACV boasts an 8x8 configuration and hydropneumatic suspension for enhanced mobility. With propulsion provided by rear water jets, the ACV achieves an amphibious speed of 11 km per hour, ensuring effective sea operations. Designed for versatility, the ACV features a central tire inflation system for improved mobility over various terrains and a run-flat capability for wheels and tires. Plans for ACV variants, akin to the diverse offerings of the LAV series, are also underway, showcasing the vehicle's adaptability to a range of mission requirements. That's all for now. See you later.